Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has been operating without an aircraft carrier for more than two years. The INS Vikramaditya and newly inducted INS Vikrant are undergoing sea trials for the operational readiness. The warship is undergoing several trials including weapons and test of air operations. Now recently we have also witnessed the landing and takeoff of naval LCA and MiG-29K from the deck of INS Vikrant. Several trials of aircraft, helicopters and guns are ongoing and you can see their latest images in front of your screen. On 23rd March 2023, the median landing of helicopter on INS Vikrant was achieved by Kamovka 31 helicopter team of pilots and air tech officer from INAS-339 led by test pilot of Naval Flight Test Squadron who undertook trials successfully, thereby proving the night ops from INS Vikrant. The Kamovka 31 is an airborne early warning helicopter and its main mission is to detect long-range airborne and naval threats. Indian Navy has been using Kamovka naval helicopters from last three decades. It has experience of operating Ka-25, Ka-28 and the most recent one is Ka-31. Indian Navy currently operates 14 Ka-31 helicopters and wanted to acquire 10 more of them but has not progressed yet. The most unique feature about this helicopter is its electronic warfare radar. The main mission of Ka-31 is long-range detection of airborne and naval threats. It is fitted with E801M OCO Airborne Electronic Warfare Radar. Now, this planar array radar is mounted beneath the fuselage and the radar is folded and stored beneath the aircraft's fuselage before being lowered down into a vertical position to allow 360 degree mechanical scanning of radar once every 10 seconds. This radar can simultaneously track up to 40 airborne or surface threats and can detect fighter-sized aircraft from a range of 100 to 200 km depending on the size of target and surface ships at horizon of 200 km from an altitude of 9,840 feet. The coordinates, speed and heading of a target direction is gathered by radar and transmitted via an encoded radio detailing channel to shipborne or shore-based command post. This encoded radio detailing channel will introduce airborne network-centric warfare to Indian Navy due to its advanced real-time capability. The secure data link and onboard communication system have a range of 150 km at altitudes between 4,950 feet and 11,000 feet. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.